Patricia, what is the one thing that you would have liked your doctor to have explained better at the time of your lung cancer diagnosis? That's a difficult question for me to answer um, because my diagnosis was such a surprise. Um, it came uh, three days after I had had surgery, so I was very well medicated. Um, and what followed my immediate diagnosis was um, a series of tests and it was it was really a blur because everything was so fast paced. I didn't necessarily get a lot of information. In terms of the diagnosis, I knew that I had non-small cell squamous cell lung cancer. And so that's kind of what I did my research on. But as far as what I wish my doctor would have told me, there wasn't much at the time. Um, the immediate response was to treat it uh, very aggressively. And so I, I trusted my doctor in doing so. Um, I did have a second opinion, which was pretty traumatic in, in the sense of, of what their second opinion was in my diagnosis and prognosis. So in my second diagnosis, um, I think what I appreciate most about my, what my doctor did tell me was that he didn't know answers. I do know that in the beginning, I found that frustrating, infuriating. I even got mad mm -hmm. that he was not able to give me the answers that I was seeking. In hindsight, now that I have been with him for three diagnoses, I can appreciate him being honest with me and saying, I don't know because I didn't fit into all of the data and the research. And if he would have given me advice and information based on that, I probably wouldn't be here now. So I, he did go against um, some data and some research in, in prognosing my outcome. And I can appreciate that now. And, and him saying that he didn't know the answers and he didn't know the outcome, but he was gonna try his damnedest to do his best to kick this in the butt and have a longevity. So I, I can appreciate what he did tell me in the fact that he didn't tell me anything. <laughs> That's a great, honest answer.